Hello, Earth Signs. Thank you for tuning in to A Libra's Way. We are going to get down to business and do an October. What's coming in for the month for all Earth Signs? So uh, let me also get a piece of a notepad so I can take notes. And timestamps will be in the description box below, guys. I'm going to use, hmm. Here we go, guys. All right. Intro. So we are going to start Taurus at one minute. Let's get going for October. what's coming in for your mini telescope message for the month. <sighs> Taurus, all right, I feel like if you've gotten yourself into any type of trouble, whether it's big or small, a relationship situation, um, some sort of predicament, you are going to have to deal with it this month, all right, and it might not be pretty. We have the eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords with the Tower at the bottom. So I'm definitely feeling like for the Taurus with Pisces season, I feel like it's going to take a few months for things to be a bit better. So it could take, I mean, six months from now is Pisces season. So it could take six months for things to finally turn around in your favor with the Three of Pentacles here. It's like with work. Also, if you're dealing with a work situation now, I am feeling too that in the next six months or so, six to eight months, you could get promoted, by the way, too, for Taurus. So if you're doing, if you just started a job right now, could take six to eight months to get going. It could, if you started something new recently, a new project, a new job, um, applying for jobs, um, something that you invested in, it could take six to eight months to see things move forward with the fool, okay? With the Eight of Pentacles, working hard, playing hard is what it feels like too. With the Ten of Swords, the end of a cycle. So the month of October is very much like working hard, dealing with what you have to deal with. The Tower card here is telling us as well that there is divine intervention, that this storyline, this situation is inevitable. Everything that you're dealing with right now, it is inevitable. And currently, you know, I feel like in the past and definitely in the coming months, you might feel like people are jipping you in some way, but know that you are being watched over. I do see the thief. I'm seeing poverty. I'm seeing the child. There are a lot of like, kind of, I don't want to say self-destructive cards, but just be cautious about they're saying like, be kind to yourself type of a thing. So make sure that you're kind with your energy. Make sure that you're kind to yourself in regards to um, hold on a second. Oh, sorry. Make sure you're being, I feel like there's also a distraction. The fact that I just got distracted right then and there was kind of like, okay, wait a second. With the new beginnings, I feel like there's a pause. See, we're having the Ten of Swords, we're having the Tower, and we're having new beginnings. This tells me that right now that like you guys are about to hit this um, this brick wall. This brick wall is going to adjust, and you're going to end up coming out a bit stronger than you have been in the past with activation. At the bottom of the deck, we have power. Yeah, sitting in your power. I mean, finding your truth even through all of the weirdness. So definitely with the Taurus energy this time of year, we also have to note too that with Mars in retrograde, it's going to be in Taurus, which means that you guys are going to go through like a significant transition in your life. Uh, be prepared for that because I feel like there's a lot on the plate and there's a lot at stake is what I'm hearing. A lot is at stake right now. 
and will continue to be at stake through the end of this year into next year. So just kind of expect that. Expect that you're probably going to go through significant changes in your life like that you might not have had in the past few years or more. Um, that's what it feels like. So Taurus, thanks for tuning in to Libra's Way. I hope that this helped you guys to get some clarity on your situation, but I would definitely look at end of Pisces season, Aries season, when things kind of turn a leaf to have like a new start or some sort of a new opportunity to, um, to get you going. Okay. So let's see, we're going to move on to Taurus now. See you all in the next month's video reading. And this is just straight to the point, you guys. You know how I work. All right. Now Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. guys a new opportunity i feel like if somebody recently won an award congratulations or if you're maybe on the way to winning an award or trying to win an award it's coming you know how they're saying it they're saying it like the grinch an award an award <laughs> it's kind of funny that they're saying it like that yeah with the ten of pentacles i mean money virgo it feels like this month for october it, there's a lot of good money coming in. I'm also feeling unexpected. Nice, uh, like a check maybe comes in the mail. Of course, we have the stimulus checks or whatever they're called, the inflation checks coming through for people. Um, there's a lot of like exciting opportunities for, uh, let's see, for the Virgo. Let's see if I can get one more card to kind of pull. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's good. Okay, so yeah, I mean, justice is coming. Virgo season just completed, and now we are in Libra season, and I feel like, you know, Virgo season, you had a great opportunity. You had that great um, energy. A lot of people were able to sort of see things through that they were hoping to see through. Unexpected excitement with the Knight of Swords, along with the Aquarius card, the Star, um, I'm seeing also with the Seven of Wands along with the, uh, the Page of Swords, it feels like <sighs> when I see this, I kind of feel like you guys have new beginnings that you're trying to launch. Okay, with the Ace of Wands. Now, it could also be that you have a new man <laughs> in your energy <laughs> with the Ace of Wands. Fire sign, perhaps. Um, I feel like also, you know, people got gifts for their birthday, of course, during Virgo season. So that might be why we're feeling that energy hot and heavy in. You saw some great opportunities. With the world card, it was kind of like you rebuilt yourself. You're kind of in this place with Aquarius, the star. It's like it was destined and faded stuff that came through for you, uh, which we all, we appreciate. We love the fact that the Virgo was able to obtain this. All right, I'm also seeing like reign of prosperity. Look, unexpected income, unexpected money, you know, unexpected exciting things that are coming through. The lovers, yeah, I mean, you guys have really good cards to be 100% honest compared to most with marriage. Okay, I'm also seeing marriage here. So let's see when there's a chance that this marriage thing will happen. Maybe you're gonna get proposed too soon. I know somebody who is like hoping that they would get proposed to very soon. So it could take, I mean, with Pisces season, Pisces season, well, that is Valentine's Day time frame. So definitely potentially on its way in. Tree grounding. Harmony and waterfall, effortless and harmony, effortless harmony grounding. I think for you guys, like 
a lot of amazing things have been happening so consistently for you guys that like when there's something bad that happens you're like oh my gosh it's the end of the world type of a thing and I feel like this October it's kind of like all right listen it's not it's not always going to be working out perfectly in your favor all the time Virgo and I don't know why I feel like I have to say that in this way because usually I don't say things like that but it feels like there's some people out there who are maybe like I expect the best so therefore like I expect to continue to get the best and like when the best doesn't happen or when the thing that they want doesn't happen like there's suddenly like this stark like change in like energy but you kind of can't have it all all the time and so I feel like that's important for Virgos this month it's just like justice is coming so justice might be also the fact that like Maybe you don't get that thing that you want because you weren't supposed to have it and you just have to accept it. Um, I don't love this reading, but that's okay. So uh, with unexpected income, the lovers and marriage, it is showing that like the opportunity for that next step is going to come through, but it might take into next year, early next year for that move forward to happen. So all I have to say is Virgo, keep the faith. You got it, you know, and um, everything will work out in divine timing now thank you very much for tuning into libra's way don't forget to follow me on instagram a underscore libra's underscore way for regular content and updates and check out my stories um all right guys have a great rest of your day and let's move on to capricorn readings are available you guys readings are available still Capricorn. Let's see what's going on with Capricorn. Okay, this month I'm feeling like Capricorn has a lot of responsibilities that like, I don't want to say they didn't expect them, but I just think that like they're trying to sort of take care of a lot of things. Yeah, we have the Three of Swords at the bottom here, which I don't love. But I feel like it just has to do with the fact that, like, they can't offer everything right now. Like, they're trying to have it all. They're trying to create a pathway forward so they can have it all. And it's kind of like you have to make that decision um, to... You have to make that decision to to figure out what your priorities are as time gets as time goes on okay they're kind of showing me like as time goes on you it's not that you can't hang out with friends but it's just the fact that like priorities change in regards to like being young and having fun there is this kind of turning point in people's lives and I don't know why they're showing me this but it's kind of like you go from maybe being a bachelor, maybe like having more free time to yourself, to hang out with your friends, to go party. But there kind of comes a point in your life soon where you turn this point and you kind of are like, wait a second. I see myself like having a different future or I'm seeing a lot of my friends getting engaged, being in relationships, getting married. And so now you're kind of in this place where you're like, okay, wait, I'm okay with my priorities changing a bit because I'm seeing that other people are settling down. So like, it makes me want to settle down too. So I feel like there's this like responsibility also in regards to family, having it all is like a goal. If you can have it all, you're going to do it. But I feel like um, this month, just accept the fact that like responsibilities will get a little bit tougher this month. And, you know, just in general, because... You guys are trying to create a new pathway forward, a new fluid pathway forward with the Ace of Wands, along with the King of Swords being here. It's kind of like truth is going to prevail. With the Scorpio card, it could be that there's some sort of a new opportunity that you offer. Maybe it's a new relationship. Maybe it's a new way of life. Now I am feeling as well that like when we're seeing Scorpio, the death card, I feel like this has to also do with like yeah September was like super important for the for the Capricorn I feel like if you're gonna offer a new opportunity to someone something or like a person the new opportunity should be offered in November so give it a bit of time to sort of like 
Ooh, wow. Courtship and great fortune. I feel like with courtship and great fortune, this is also telling me that like this person that you might want to pursue, um, they are going to be very, very wealthy in the future or they already are or they like once you guys are together, paired together, it's going to bring in like crazy amount of fortune of some sort. So be prepared for that. Or you guys are going to be like on the top of your game in regards to your life. Yeah, official person. I think right now you're trying to figure out like how to go from one type of life to like another. So, I mean, there are a lot of these types of situations. Transitioning from like being a fresh out of undergrad person, you know, into the workforce. That's like a big transition. Going from high school to college, going from being a bachelor, a young single bachelor to like suddenly being wifed up or like giving somebody a, an engagement ring and wanting to marry them. These are all like really big transitions. And I feel like with the men, like there's something about, you know, trying to figure out how to do it all. And it's totally okay. Like it's going to, it's going to happen in t due time, you know? So, okay, here we go. New moon promise. Okay, I'm definitely feeling like if you are trying to start a new relationship, like this new moon, this next new moon is going to sort of like bring in that person. So be prepared or the new opportunity, you're going to realize like what that new opportunity is that you're trying to launch in your life. By the new moon with passionate, it's kind of like be prepared for that energy, okay? Um child I mean I think like child new beginnings courtship great fortune new moon I also feel like someone could be getting a good payday it's like with great money and great income and great profits come great responsibility because that did come on top of the nine of pentacle or the nine of wands and the ten of wands so that is heightened responsibility that is needed so this is what I'm feeling for Capricorn you guys, thank you for tuning in to A Libra's Way. I hope to see you in another video. Follow me on Instagram, A underscore Libra's underscore way. Also, I'm hearing three months if you've made it this long. Um, have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in another video. Happy October, and look for more vids. Bye, guys.